Eric Estrada asked, If you get a chance, please review the Macar bag, please. Well, Eric Estrada, this one's for you. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Ernest Ramos. I ride electric skateboards and review stuff. And today we are reviewing the two versions of the Macar bag. We've got the small one and the uh, larger one. Yeah, and we will compare it to the Atza bag, which I reviewed a few weeks ago. Okay, so before we begin this review, I'd like to uh, say that I am not affiliated with Macar nor with Atza. Uh, their owners bought them for themselves for their own use and they were kind enough to lend me the backpacks for, for, for review. Yeah, so uh, thank you Jericho for lending me the uh, smaller Macar backpack <laughs> and uh, thank you Gene for lending me the uh, bigger Macar backpack as well as the uh, that's a bag. <laughs> the smaller version of the Atza backpack is pretty much bare bones. You have this single clip which opens up and presents you with pretty much the only compartment in the bag. I guess it's big enough to fit one shirt. Or maybe your e-skate essentials like uh, a spare belt, a skate tool. What it says here is when you change yourself, you're also changing the world. You will notice that others and the world are changing with you. It's got a gun. Which I uh, guess makes it cool. So I'm um, putting an e-skate here is pretty simple. You undo this velcro tab. So these straps here, so I guess the so I guess the board goes in here. Okay, moment of truth. We'll see if this will carry the board. You know, I don't have that much faith in this. I, apart from this, these straps, there's not much support on the board, so if this gives away, it's just this big strap. Uh, it's just a bunch of Velcro straps, which this is a negative point for me. I don't like the Velcro. I wish it could have gone with clips and uh, proper cinches, but this one is over here as well. Um, the straps don't really line up that well, so it's running over the motor wires. Um, it's hard to strap it in properly because at least for the boosted mini, the motor is there. Yeah, it's relatively comfy, I guess. So I guess it's relatively comfortable to carry a board like the Boosted Mini, um, which you should know actually weighs as much as the uh, full-size Boosted board. Uh, yeah, fits well. Um, one major issue I have is this strap here. I hope you can see it. The way it goes down, it hits my back at an angle. Yeah, no. The straps are not that comfortable. In hindsight, just hits me in the back with this angle. The weight distribution is okay. I don't have any complaints with that. Just how this strap hits the side of my back. Uh, maybe if you're thinner, you don't have the dad body that I do. Uh, <laughs> maybe it'll work for you. So uh, yeah, let's go for the uh, bigger bag. All right, right on to the uh, bigger version of this backpack. This is, uh, they call this the uh, 3M reflective strip for electric skateboard backpack, I think. It's called that because it does indeed have a reflective strip. I do think that the uh, reflective strip on the Atza bag is uh, much better than this, but I guess having a reflective strip is better than not having a reflective strip. Starting off with the main flap, You've got a uh, zipper here with a um, small pouch. Yeah, and also on the front flap, you have these uh, loopy loopy thingies where you can just uh, hang stuff. Opening the backpack, you got another Velcro tab here. Over here, you got a small pocket. Um, you put some spares like spare belts, a skate tool, yeah. And um, the bigger one, uh, front pocket, 
you can put in um, maybe your shirt, a rain jacket. It's got another pouch here, you can see, I hope you can see. Going on to the main compartment, it's closed by some zippers. Um, the zippers are okay, I guess. Uh, it's not the best zippers I've unzipped. Uh, I think that came out wrong. But anyway, <laughs> on to the main backpack uh, compartment. It's got a decent amount of space. It's not gonna fit a laptop, but you can fit in um, maybe a tablet in here, especially here in this secondary pouch. You can put in clothes, or if you if you are a student, you can put in your books there. There's a uh, smaller pouch here. Uh, you can place your valuables there, wallet, whatever. Here on the side, you have this um, loop that you can use to uh, attach a uh, carry strap. Well, and I don't have that carry strap with me right now, so uh, yeah, it's it's there if you need it. it. Comes with two handles. Has a side handle here, which will come in handy later when you put the skateboard on, and the usual grab handle from the top. So, uh, like the uh, small one, the uh, skateboard is secured by Velcro. With uh, so I've got more Velcro, Velcro all over, Velcro for everyone. So the top, so secure the skateboard here. Okay, um, quick issue, this velcro strap barely fits over that, so, yeah. There you go. Okay, right off the bat, this is much better. Uh, the sides don't pinch on my back like on the uh, smaller backpack, so at least for my body type, this, this is a better fit. And again, can you hear that? <laughs> it's what I don't like about Velcro. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not a fan of Velcro. <laughs> so I read their website that it'll carry bigger boards that get evolved. Uh, maybe, yeah. But I just don't trust Velcro. This backpack though, uh, with the boosted mini or maybe a uh, longer board like a X-Way, or the uh, boosted stealth, or those wagos. I think this is it's pretty okay. I could picture myself going around and carrying my board like this. This system here, where you insert the board into the uh, into a pocket, is a pretty good one. Um, also, I like how for both Makar backpacks, um, they have this the entire pack covers the grip tape of at least for this this style of board for this mini board this pack is detachable so if you want to to just bring this bag on its own you can but for me i just don't trust the velcro strips to hold the board the more support the board has the better so i prefer to keep this on the side pocket the side side handle is great <laughs> So that is exactly why I prefer to have this backpack on if you're going to carry the skateboard because these tiny velcro straps just won't cut it. This backpack separates into two big pieces. You got the uh, piece that holds the board and got a nice carry-on. But yeah, if you're going to carry a board, I highly suggest that you do not detach this bag.
Do you still like Velcro? <laughs> I don't like Velcro. Given the choice, which bag would I take? Um, on the Makar side, between this and this, I think uh, this costs around 56 or yeah. <laughs> There's not much you can do with it. There's not much you can put in it. Uh, sure, you can put your board on it, but yeah, I would much rather spend a few more bucks and get this. It's not overly large. You, you get more options. You get you get more stuff to put in it, and uh, I think you'll get more mileage out of this than this. Now, if it were a choice between the Atsa bag or the Makar bag. Uh, it might surprise you, but I think as much as I hate the Velcros here, um, it's pretty close. It's it's closer than I thought it would be. I still prefer this, mostly because of all the features, all the stuff that I could put in here. Um, but. If I'm carrying a short board, I don't need that many things to be in the bag. This is lighter. This this is more comfortable. This one is more of a uh, backpack that you take to work or, or to school if you're carrying a laptop. But I don't carry a laptop every time I ride the board. Pros and cons on either one. If you are to get one um, and just one, Probably go for the Atza bag. This size, this form factor is really nice. It's surprising. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you made it this far into the video, please consider leaving a like. Um, if you've got questions about these bags, um, leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, um, I hope you subscribe. It helps small creators like me. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya. This. Ah, God. <laughs>